TV show, when I'm doing the tune, set for now. Ruka you, Yenga my Chanel. Chesa Salam, Linda Maisha. Who won't go to Vipi Sema now? The part of Vipi, that is Sema now. Afia Bora, wake up, was it now? On your show, where's on Guvu ya Binti? Hi, she kicking Guvu ya Kaka, Bila ya Kiki. Can you confirm a TV show? Yeah, are you ready guys? Happy birthday to you. Happy Fema 20 years. Happy birthday to you. A big happy birthday to Fema magazine. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Femina Hip. Happy birthday to you. 20 years. Happy birthday, Femina Hip. Yeah, ule muda ambao tulikuwa tunausubiria kwa hamu ndo huu umefika. Siku ya leo Femina Hip inatimiza miaka 20 tangu kuanzishwa kwake. Na hii ni 20 eh. ya kibabe. Kwa miaka 20 tumekuwa tukifanya kazi na vijana, uh-huh. tumejenga maisha yao, uh-huh. tumelinda maisha yao uh-huh. na tumeconnect maisha Maisha yao. Hivi Lydia niambie wapi ambapo hatujafika? Mm, Kilimanjaro. Huko tushafika bwana. Mara. I say mpaka na ndugu. Na Lindi je? <laughs> Niliambiwa niache mahali huko. <laughs> Basi kwa miaka 20 Femina Hip imekuwa ikitembea kona hadi kona nchi ya Tanzania kwa ajili ya kutoa elimu kwa vijana. Tumetumia njia kama vile radio, TV, majarida na klabu zilizo kuepo mashuleni. Na ile siku tulikuwa tukiisubiria uh-huh. Jofre ndio hii na tuko mm. katika eneo la kusherekea miaka 20 ya Femina Hip. Yeah. Guess what? Eh uh-huh, naambia. Tutakuwa na mawaziri leo. I say ntaona kwa hiyo. Eh eh tutakuwa na mabalozi. <laughs> Mtapiga nao picha. Bila kusahau kutakuwa na vijana kutoka kila kona ya mm. Tanzania. Mwisho wa siku tuna party. Yeah. Mimi ni Lydia Chao. Na mimi ni Geoffrey Michael Machemba na, na hii ni Fema TV Show. Congratulations yeah. to Femina Hip for 20 years. 20 years is a long term time and Femina has grown by strides and strides. Today we have people who have been so influenced by by the Femina uh, mantic and the teachings of Femina uh, and they've become people in politics they they've become people in, in, in corporates uh, so we can see that the work of Femina is been so important so the next 20 years i want us to 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 get bigger uh, i want us to 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 go quicker go faster because we have a whole country to cover and we know that in Tanzania it is the youth that is the the biggest population kwa miaka 20 ijayo nataka kusema kwamba kwanza vijana ndio mtaji wa jamii. Vijana wanaweza sasa na vijana wataweza kufanya kesho. Jamii yetu ili iweze kubadilika na iweze kufikia ile ndoto ambayo tunaiona, ambayo tunaitaka, ambayo hata rais yetu ndio anaiona na hata vijana wengi wanaiona inapasa kuwawezesha inapasa kuwapatia nafasi vijana ili waweze kutenda. Kwa kiasi kikubwa katika kipindi cha takriban miaka 20 tumeona mchango mkubwa na mzuri wa Femina Hip especially katika kutengeneza sera zinazohusiana masuala ya maendeleo ya jamii lakini hasa maendeleo ya wasichana hasa katika eneo la afya ya uzazi uh, section reproductive health hasa kwa wasichana na wavulana lakini kubwa ambalo kwa kweli tumeliona ni katika pia kuwajengea uwezo wasichana walioko mashuleni hasa hasa kuweza kujiamini kujitambua na kujua miili yao na mwisho wa siku ukijua mwili wako ukijua mabadiliko yanayotokea katika mwili wako basi unaweza ukafanya maamuzi sahihi juu ya mwili wako tunaendelea na miaka 20 ya Femina Hip na kama tunavyojua vijana wanapenda burudani na sisi Femina Hip tunatumia elimu pamoja na burudani kuelimisha vijana of course kama umekuwa ukifuatilia Femina Radio Show Femina TV Show utakuwa unafahamu kwamba burudani ndio mpango mzima sisi kwetu ni kupati tu <laughs> <laughs> kama kawaida Geoffrey ukiwa na sherehe unaalika watu mbalimbali na sisi kama Femina Hip tumealika wadau kutoka taasisi za binafsi tumealika wadau kutoka serikalini bila kuwasahau vijana wenyewe na kwa sababu wamekuja kusherehekea pamoja nasi 
Tukaona CV bio ukipata neno kutoka kwa mama Femina atuambie Femina imetokea wapi na jisikiaje kwamba tunatimiza miaka 20. Na yote haya unaenda kuyapata moja kwa moja kutoka katika sherehe za miaka 20 ya Femina P. You know we have guests. Yeah? The guests have come home to visit us. They would like to hear the story of how Femina came about. Tell us a little bit about that story of creation of Femina. Yeah. Uh, 20 years ago, the HIV epidemic was escalating and I wanted to make a contribution. And somebody asked me, um, could you help? Could you help start an initiative which could use the media and entertainment education to reach out to young people uh, across Tanzania because at that time there was hardly any initiatives targeting young people. So that's how we started. And here we are, 20 years later. So what motivated you? Tanzania mesmerized me and uh, I loved the work. It was a challenge, it was creative, it was hard work. But more than anything, I have appreciated the teamwork, the feminine team, and the work that we have accomplished together. Mama Femina amesema, siri kubwa ya mafanikio ya Femina ni kufanya kazi kwa ushirikiano. Hivyo basi, wanafamilia wa Femina ni wana mchango mkubwa kwa mafanikio haya ya Femina Hip. Basi muda huu hapa kwa njia ya unifu kabisa tuende tukawashuhudia wanafamilia wa Femina Hip ambao wanafanya kazi kwa ushirikiano kupitia vipindi vya TV, vipindi vya radio pamoja na majarida mashuhuri kwa. Na kwa sababu ni ishirini ya kibabe basi tutawatambulisha kibabe zaidi kupitia fashion show kwa nguo ambazo wamedizaini wenyewe kwa kutumia kanga na Femina. <laughs> na uhakika na wewe umepata ya kwako kwa sababu ulishinda sema na Femina. Let's go and see them. In the very beautiful Attires. This is what we do. Creativity at Femina is our culture. And I would like to introduce them by teams, starting with the media team. Lydia, Lydia, uh, who is the presenter of the Femina TV show, and Sakela, who is the presenter of the radio show. And Pendo, the editor of Femma Magazine, Pendo Mashulani. Bahat in the Tele Nyembe, who is the coordinator of the TV programs. Majuka, the producer of radio show. Raphael, the editor and photographer. Julie, uh, everything, the graphic designer, the social media. Steve, social media person. Issa, the pre presenter of Femma Radio Show. And Phil, who manages the media department. That is the media department. And next, next is the community mobilization team led by Nash, Nashvai Mole. Nashvai Mole, the community mobilization manager. And Harriet Kapunguru, the program manager for Neo Power. And Veronica, the program office for community mobilization. Auntie Kos, loved by everyone, community mobilization. And Gloria Koloma. And Habit, Victor, John. Wanaishi, I don't know how many people know his name, it's Bernard, Bernard Ingualo, is Wanaishi. And the next team is the organizational management team. And Martha, the monitoring and evaluation and learning officer. Pushpa, ah, Pushpa, she manages the finance. And Sakina, Danny, who drives us around across the country, he's been to every district. Leslie, also the management, Ruth, the program, the head of programs, and Innocent Maui on the monitoring, evaluation, and learning. Wow! And now, the power teams, as we call them. Issa, the leader of the boy power team. And Lydia, again, there, the leader of the girl power team. Geoffrey, on the boy power team, but also Power team. Wow. And Baraka on the boy power team. 
Those are the power teams. What are you? You must have talked to them outside here. Yeah? Sisi humu ndani tunaifahamu historia ya Femina Hip. Je, wewe unaifahamu historia hiyo? Mimi naamini mashabiki wa Femina Hip lazima wanafahamu. Basi kwenye sherehe yetu uweza kupata kihistoria kifupi kutoka kwa meneja uzalishaji wa vipindi vya TV, radio pamoja na majarida kuhusiana na Femina Hip. Na haya ni machache tu juu ya safari ya Femina Hip tunayapata moja kwa moja kutoka katika sherehe za miaka 20 ya Femina Hip. In 1999 we start our feminine hip initiative focusing on sexual and reproductive health education as well as life skills. We begin a partnership with the Swedish Development Corporation Agency, SIDA, who share our vision on gender equality and sexual and reproductive health and rights for all. They fund the pilot and till this day remain our faithful partner. But what is our vision? Our vision is to work closely with young people and to include them in the participation of magazine production. Our print runs skyrocket. By this time, we're printing 140,000 film magazines every quarter. We are also printing 180,000 copies of Sim Chezo. These are being sent out to schools, to NGO partners, as well as to companies. Um, and awards are given out to the best and most active clubs. The initiative is popular. Youth and teachers are linked to the networks of clubs and they are publicly acknowledged. Femina develops its girl power training program, which focuses on both sexual and reproductive health and economic empowerment. That Femina also establishes its own girl power team. But we cannot leave the boys behind. So we establish a boy power team. The Femina Multimedia Life Skills Initiative is now reaching 15 million young people. This is all across Tanzania. It is the largest platform that is educating, organizing, and voicing the views of the youth. We have over 2,300 FEMA clubs. It is now 2019, and tonight we celebrate 20 years of Femina Hip. Two generations of Tanzanian youth have engaged with our initiative. The next generation needs our support. Nikili ya na bembelezo kwa upendo Na ya kinu na na umli waza kwa vitendo Oh yes, kwa friend, ipe tano Nipo mizuri Unajua siku zote katika party yoyote, hakuna party bila mziki Mzo chamba Tunaendea na 
tunashema shema za miaka 20 ya Femina Hip na kama tunavyojua Femina Hip inafanya kazi na vijana lakini pia niacha serikali nyuma imeipa kipaumbele basi katika sherehe yetu tumeweza kuhudhuria na mheshimiwa waziri umi mwalimu pamoja na mheshimiwa naibu waziri Stella Ikupa twende tutawasikilize Ninatamani kusikia kutoka kwenu hasa uh, waziri na naibu waziri tunapokwenda kwenye muongo wa tatu wa Femina mna neno gani kwetu sisi nimekuwa ni mdao mkubwa wa kutaka vijana wapewe elimu kuhusu afya ya uzazi ikiwezekana hata watoto wa darasa la 4 la 5 angalau tuwajue my body my protection kwa sababu tunaamini mtoto akijielewa akijielewa my body my protection atakuwa na uwezo wa kufanya maamuzi sahihi kuhusu mwili wake Kwa nafahamu kwa mba femina mekua mtusaidia sana Na sisi dani ya serikali tunaendelea kujadiliana Kuona nijinsi gani watoto Ikiwe sikono wa miya darasa la tatu Mana mkisema mna wasubiri sekundari Watoto sikuizi wanabalehe darasa la nne Watoto wanabalehe darasa la tatu Wazazi hatuna muda sikuizi wakukana watoto Watoto zamani wanafundishwa na majangazi Wanafundishwa na bibi Maisha sikuizi Kazi ya bibi shangazi ya tuyoni kwa femina mnatusaidia sana kuchukua sehemu au majabu sana ambayo tunatakiwa asante sana. Labda tukienda kwake mheshimiwa Stella Ikupa ni nini mchango wa asasi za kiraia katika kuunga mkono juhudi za serikali? Uh, asante sana. Femina uh, katika malengo yenu na wanyingia vijana ujasiri lakini pia mnawafanya waweze kuwajibika na mama na hilo nilikuwa nimekaa na baadhi ya vijana pale tulikuwa tukidiscuss mawili matatu yale ambayo mnayafanya femina ni yale yale ambayo pia tunafanya ndani ya serikali ukiangalia katika serikali tuna elimisha study za maisha kwa vijana tunamfundisha kijana ajitambue Lakini pia kijana awe na malengo. Sasa atafikiaje yale malengo. Angalie fursa zinazo mzunguka ili kweza kufikia yale malengo aliojiwekea. Tunaishukuru serikali kwa kuwa mdao mkubwa sana wa femina. Tunasema asante sana. Tumesema leo ni usiku wa burudani ni usiku wa taarifa, ni usiku wa tuzo, ni usiku wa kusherekea miaka 20 ya femina. Sante sana. Ninachotaka ukiona ni malize tu. Sasa hivi mmekava shule kama F2 ni atatu. Eh? Sioni ni kwa nini tusikave shule zote za sekondari mchini Tanzania katika miaka kumi ya. Na niyomana ni nitoa ahali kwe. Nita mshanga mwalimu mkuyo yote ya mbaya taeka kikwazo kwa FEMA Club kuanzishwa katika shule ya. Kwa hiyo ni nitoa hadi yangu na mimi nitamwandikia waziri wa nchi mheshimiwa Suleiman Jafu ahakikishe kwamba ni maelekezo rasmi ya serikali kwamba wasiweke vikwazo kwa Femma Club kuanzishwa katika shule ya Femma. Hapo sema ni miaka 20 ya kibabe hatumaanishi ni miaka 20 ya kazi peke yake lakini ni miaka 20 ya kutoa motisha na kwa miaka hii 20 tumefanya kazi na walimu wanafunzi pamoja na klabu zote nchini Tanzania na wote hawa wamejitoa na kufanya kazi kwa karibu na sisi hivyo basi tukaamua kutoa maswali kujua wanaelewa nini kuhusiana na femina hii na wao wanafanya nini kushirikiana na femina hii na zawadi zetu tutazitoa katika makundi ya walimu wanafunzi pamoja na klabu na wote walijishindia zawadi kama laptop iPad by scale na nyingine kem kem na hawa hapa tulikuwa nao katika kusherekea miaka 20 ya Femina Hip
tunasema na Fema ya Fema TV show. Mimi huwa nathamini sana muda unaotoa kutizama show lakini pia nafahamu una nondo za kutosha ambazo ungependa kushare nasi ndani ya Fema TV show. Na washindi wa wiki iliyopita ni Hapa hapa ndani ya Sema na Fema ya Fema TV show. Basi hiki ndio kipindi cha mwisho cha msimu wa 12 wa Fema TV Show. Unajua nini mimi? Yes. Kuna mambo mengi sana tumejifunza. Tumezunguka mikoa mingi na pia tumekutana na watu wengi sana. Kabisa na leo tumekuwa tukimalizia na party yeah. ya kibabe. Lakini kabla ya hapo tulikuwa na mada ya moto moto tumeongea na wataalamu. Tumesikia story fupi za vijana. Tumekaa katika mijadala na vijana na wafanya vitu amazing hapa nchini Tanzania. Basi mwisho msimu huu hapa ndio mwanzo wa msimu mwingine. Mimi naitwa Geoffrey Meko Majemba. Nita Lilia Charles endelea kuungana nasi kupitia mitandao yetu ya kijamii tupo Facebook, yeah. tupo Twitter, tupo Instagram. Kote huko tunasababisha kwa account za Femina Hip. Bye bye. Hiyo, hiyo inakatwa hiyo. Makofi tafadhali. Hiyo ni keki rasmi. Eh, hii keki leo lazima ikatike. Mikono yote hiyo. Keki lazima ikatike leo. Asante sana tukio la kupata keki. Wakati keki inakatwa vipande vipande na zile keki nyingine 350 zinazunguka huko mbili. Haya, wanalishwa watu huko. Wanalishwa watu. Hapa tunasema akimbii mtu hapa. Kila mtu atakula keki.